Choosing to walk with Jesus is an adventure. Adventures can mean doing something unusual and exciting, typically dangerous. It is about going out of our comfort zone. I had such an experience on my mission trip to the Philippines last year. It was the reverse caroling organized by the ICP mission. I felt honored to participate in the mission. I was excited because it was my first time traveling to the Philippines. I was also anxious. I didn't know if it was the right decision to do this. I had no idea what it meant to go for an outreach in the Philippines. There were many unknown factors to me. I was unsure if my annual leave will be approved, if I have the finances to cover the cost. It's my first time going on a mission in the Philippines and many more. As I got excited about going, I was worried that I might be disappointed if it didn't work out. Then, one by one, all these were taken care of. My annual leave was approved and I managed to fundraise. I experienced God's great providence to make sure everything was enough for my mission trip. I felt the love and support from my community and friends. I was really grateful for the encouragement. Just before I left for the Philippines, I heard there was a super typhoon that would hit the Philippines. I was worried and uncertain. I even had second thoughts if it was safe for me to go. Still, I set out with the outreach team for my adventure. My first time experience of a minimalist traveler, I was imagining myself as a missionary on the go, to be always prepared wherever I am called to. It was like walking in the footsteps of Jesus. We were warmly welcomed when we arrived in Mindoro. I felt so happy we finally arrived at our destination. It took 10 hours traveling by air, land and sea. I was so excited to be part of the team. We were told we would be praying for families who are less privileged. As I went visiting family to family, I was so sad to see the families living such a life. Some live in a bamboo house, some had no beds, it looked like it was enough just to have a shelter. But still, they are grateful to live one day at a time, and I could still see the happy faces. I felt ashamed of myself, because I have enough, yet I still complain a lot. I have a good income, good food on the table, a comfortable home, and still I sometimes think it's not enough. Then one day, the super typhoon came. It was in the middle of the night, a strong wind came, the electricity went out, I tried to sleep but the sound of the wind became stronger and I was frightened. The next day, I saw branches of the trees everywhere, I even saw the eye of the typhoon. I was terrified. My fear was that I would not be able to go home. But I held on to God as I was praying. I felt God was affirming me that He is with me and I should not worry. Instantly, I felt peaceful. After the typhoon, I saw the unity of the people clearing up the place together. Our room was soaking wet because the rain came in. It was very challenging. There was no electricity and the water pump was not working. Even with such disaster, we continued with the reverse caroling because we wanted to continue bringing the light of Jesus especially after the disaster. It was a beautiful experience. I will never forget this moment. Anyone who finds his life will lose it. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. I have truly found God in this adventure. I took risks and went beyond my comfort zone. I gained so much in saying yes to something that was bigger than me. Something not about me, Something about giving myself to others. God is my refuge. I am his beloved daughter. How does your adventure with God look like? Are you ready to give it a try?